on set. Roll camera. Sound speed. Mark, please. And action. Take one. Welcome back to Students in Focus. I'm Katie, student producer at the Utah Education Network. This week, we're bringing you a variety of student-produced content, including a community spotlight, sport highlight, and a short. We'll also have a student spotlight with Olga Pedraza Cano, a first-generation college student at Salt Lake Community College who is pursuing her passion for filmmaking. First, we travel south for a piece called Vernal Our Home, produced by students Beth, Abby, and Derek. They put together this community spotlight in the Voices of the West program, powered by SpyHop Productions. This is a family town. Everyone's willing to help other people. It's a friendly town. It's not filled with hate. It's a town that you would want to raise your children, your grandchildren, and be a part of the community in all sorts of different activities that they provide. This community really rallies around the good. It's so rewarding to see, like, different people in the community reaching out and helping and um, doing uh, good things. I've never, I've never felt like I deserve the honors and the kind words that the people in the educational industry give me. Anybody involved in Vernal wants to stay in Vernal. They do not want to move on. In their minds, this is utopia. Um, I hope that I get positioned here because I grew up here. I'm raised here. I like to do a lot of stuff here, but I like what I like to do most is camp because we you have all these mountains. Um, I sometimes will go hiking, kind of by the dinosaur quarry, by Jensen, and we just hike over there, look at all the dinosaur fossils and petroglyphs over at McConkie Ranch. It's really hard to say that there's not a lot to do here because there is a lot to do here. Um, it's just you have to put yourself out there and find it, but I love our community for that. This community loves recreation. They love what we have indoor and what we have outdoor, and it's, it's a really fun um, atmosphere to be in. And this community is phenomenal. No matter what's going on, everybody supports everybody. We are amazing. Talk about a small town feel. This is exactly what Vernal is. Your home's your home. I've, I've traveled a lot and been able to go to different areas, but yes, I knew Vernal would be my home. This is the greatest place that you could imagine. Sir, you could stop your engine right now and go find a home to live in Vernal.
When people think of Sundance, they think of a world of independent films and filmmakers. But they're all a part of something much, much bigger. At the heart of it all is the Sundance Institute, a nonprofit arts organization that supports extraordinary artists, their culture shifting work, and connects them with passionate audiences. We're a global stage for independent storytellers, and we amplify the impact of their work in the world. We discover next-gen voices and provide the resources they need to bring their stories to life. We support artists who are building new realities to explore. And we connect emerging storytellers everywhere with decades of experience and expertise. The Sundance Institute is bringing together artists, film lovers, educators, funders, and industry to evolve our world through stories. Next up is Jack's Manti Race by Corinne, a student at Judge Memorial High. This piece was awarded first place in the Best Sport Video category at the Utah College Media Alliance's Futures Awards. We're looking for student-produced films and videos to feature on TV. Learn more at uen.org slash students in focus to have your media considered for an upcoming episode of Students in Focus. Up next is Our Park, a film by Veronica. This short film includes a conversation between siblings and demonstrates how a simple two-shot can be very meaningful with an introspective script. Is this where you've been hiding all day? You know, people are waiting on you, especially Madeline. She really wanted you there at a birthday party. I know, I just can not stand to see everyone since I'm leaving today. And I know that everyone hates me for it. I don't hate you. We all want you there. Even just to see you one last time. I've been thinking about like everything in my life so far like our childhood, and do you even remember this park? Yeah, uh, we used to play with Jensen kids, and um, I broke my arm in that slide, and with Ben, have you, have you seen him in a while? I haven't seen him in years. He wasn't at the party? He literally lives down the street. Why didn't you invite him? I had lunch with him two days ago. Lunch? What? I've literally never even heard from him in years. What are you on about? Why hasn't he talked to me? Well, how come you never talk to him? He lives down the street. What is wrong with you? He used to come to our house every day. He still comes every so often. 
Well, I wouldn't know that. I don't live with mom. That's why I want to move. I don't want to live with her anymore. And everyone else has already left me. Do you know how hard it is to live by yourself with mom? I'm the only one who has to take care of her because nobody else does. Okay, I felt bad and I cared, but she sucks. And that's why I'm gonna live far, far away from everyone and they can take care of mom and that's their responsibility, but it's not my problem. You're right. But I'll miss you. You know, out of all of us, you're the one I felt closest most to. And I just don't want to lose you from my life. I'm interested in a career path that makes a lot of money. I thought I wanted to do like strictly documentary journalism type stuff. In the film world, I'd like to be either an editor or a DP. Uh, two will have to be further, closer, okay. a little closer. I'm thinking about going into like um, production. I think I want to do cinematography now. Right now I'm really uh, looking to go into post-production because it's something I enjoy a lot more than being on set. Uh, maybe working more with sound, assistant directing, uh, script supervising. Action! I chose Salt Lake Community College because I heard that their program was more advanced and more hands-on than any of the other schools around. We're teaching people how to grab ski stands and set them up and put flags on them, use cameras. Uh, from day one, they're using uh, post-production equipment and cameras and, and uh, a lot of hands-on. So we got a Black Magic Cinema camera, we got a Red Epic and a Red Scarlet camera uh, with complete lens packages, map boxes and the whole filters and everything. So that, uh, students learn how to build cameras and learn how to do it properly and they're able to go do that on, a, on, a, on an actual film set. I've had a great experience so far. I've had enough support from all of my fellow students in groups making projects. I feel like I learn a lot from the teachers. I feel like I could probably leave with the associates and go on a movie set and be prepared. Our final piece is a student spotlight with Olga Pedraza Cano, a first-generation college student and aspiring filmmaker. Olga started studying film at Salt Lake Community College in August of this year and discovered her passion for filmmaking through classes at Spy Hop Productions. No sepa, Taller de Cine fue la primera clase que tenía en español. Y creo por eso elegí esa clase porque fue en mi lengua materna algo que estoy más, más cómoda. Y ahí conocí a mi maestro Pepe, que me enseñó todo lo que, lo que sé hoy. Y trabajé con otros niños de mi edad que también hablaban español. Y fue un, una experiencia completamente nueva. No sabía qué estaba haciendo y por, y por qué lo estaba haciendo. Pero trabajar con otros niños y trabajar con, con Pepe todo se sentía bueno, correcto en ese, ese momento y por eso creo que elegí continuar mis clases en Spy Hub y no, no lo arrepiento. It was something that I haven't done before um, on that scale, even though it was really small at the time working with like I think two other people, it felt big to me and I was really anxious but excited at the same time um, and that's when I met my uh, mentor Pepe and Throughout that, I've learned so much um, through him, for him guiding me and teaching me. Um, he encouraged me to take more classes, and that's how I ended up joining Film Maps. And I met um, some other people as well that I still know to this day.
My experience with having Pepe as a mentor is a little personal to me. Um, I don't get a lot of support from my own father in that way. And so having someone who's super supportive and really um, kind and teaching and guiding me through one of my, my major passions is honestly, it's something really personal and sentimental to me. I wanted to challenge myself to teach a class fully in Spanish. And I was hoping to get a lot of students who were interested in, in that, but also making a short in Spanish. Uh, that was her first class at Spy Hub, and she was she was a little quiet and shy, as most people come in Spy Hub. I don't know what it is, um, but she wrote the story that got picked because everyone wrote one script and then everyone voted for their favorite, and that's the one that we made. And August got picked. She was good at coming up with with stories that worked and that were personal. And they were interesting and when someone know like if you have an idea if you know what you want that's that's a that's a hard thing to to do sometimes right and executing it and and she did it on the very first class a concept that was a little bit it wasn't too crazy but it wasn't as simple right it was like a little horror almost little story and then she did it again in the apprenticeship and she was able to make something with the limitations working with the limitations i think that's that's really good and it was in the apprenticeship that you know i saw a guy having the drive and uh, there was some leadership skills too of, of being able to uh, direct and have a team and work with a team and collaborate with her team and and then that was the reason that later on i asked her to be the peer mentor for the class i hope that Olga makes more films. I think I think she should keep writing and keep directing films and maybe, yeah, trying other things on set. Uh, but yeah, I hope she keeps pursuing what she's passionate about. And I'm hoping to see more films that she's been part of. I think that Spyhawk really helped cultivate uh, my passions. I knew that I had a knack for writing, I had a knack for screenwriting, I had a knack for creating little stories in my head, but I didn't know really where to execute that. And Spy Hop really just helped me put all my passions together and put a name to them and really just let me explore the different avenues that film can take me. And I'm just really grateful that not only are all the classes free, but everyone is just so supportive and it doesn't make you feel dumb for not knowing anything, which was really helpful to me since I started literally not knowing anything about how to hold a camera or what the settings on the cameras are, but having them just kind of guide me step by step was super helpful in, in discovering what I now want to be. And I'm, I don't know where I would be without Spy Hop. I don't think I, I'd be in the same place where I am now. I feel like I really wanted to pursue film because it was the only thing that I really envisioned myself doing. Um, a lot of other careers that, you know, my cousins and family have taken um, seem kind of dull to me. I don't imagine myself becoming a doctor. I don't imagine myself going through so much school to become a lawyer. And just, it's the only thing that I really see myself doing, something that I'm actually like passionate for and something that I look forward to doing. I think that's why I chose film because it's so broad at the same time. Um, it's not one thing you go to school and you're um, immediately the next thing. Um, there's just so much variety when it comes to film that I just feel like even if it doesn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to be, I will find something that suits me. It wasn't really until I joined uh, a TV broadcasting class. I thought nothing of it at the beginning, but making my own little projects on there and working with other people and also being in charge of hosting that and also being kind of like an anchor and going around you know, my high school, that was really fun as well. Um, but starting in Spy Hop and learning about Spy Hop was actually what really sparked a lot about that. Choosing this like, program was kind of a no-brainer. I didn't want to spend so much in school just to get with a, a certificate saying that I did it. I really like how it's hands-on and that I will hopefully you know, take this knowledge of not only just studying it, but really knowing how to use it and to enhance my skill set in the future. To be the first person in my family to go to college is really 
anxiety inducing. I don't know what I'm doing half the time and I don't know how to set a good example for the rest of my siblings since I am the oldest. Usually when within my family when you hear that they're going to go to college you'd expect them to be a lawyer or a doctor or a pilot and for me to come out and say hey I want to pursue film it's kind of like it's vague to them they don't know what that really entails and they just kind of question me like oh like are you going to be on, on tv are you going to be broadcasting stuff and I mean it's kind of hard for me to give them a direct answer because I can't look into my own future and give them that that response so it has kind of put me um in a weird, awkward spot where I really want to share my passions with people, but at the same time, I'm afraid to be like ridiculed or criticized for it. I do hope this um, journey of me going into college does inspire my cousins and hopefully my brother um, to go into college and to hopefully become something out of it. Um, I just see that he's kind of lost in the way that he is managing life and I relate so much to that so hopefully me entering college can really inspire him to not inherently like pursue film or anything but knowing that that higher education is out there. Thanks again to Olga for taking us on her journey into the film industry. We wanted to give a shout out to all of the talented students who have shared their work with us so far this year. We can't wait to see what you create next. We'll be here ready to amplify your stories. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Students in Focus. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next episode. And you can check out past episodes at UEN Video. Don't forget, you can submit your student projects to be featured here on Students in Focus. See you next time.